Hi guys, this is uh, gsnl.com and I'm here with the Oppo X2021 for a quick show off of what this device can do. It goes from a 6.7 inch to a 7.4 inch display like this with a swipe up on the side button. It's all happening seamless. This is just a concept, so I won't bother you with specs. Now, this is an OLED panel, which just increased to 7.4 inches. And you can see here the frame, which expands. If I swipe down on the side button, you can see it getting back into its layer. This is an OLED panel produced by BOE, and uh, it can expand and contract with the following methods. So first of all, there are two motors inside the device. One motor is here, it's pulling the device, and the other one is here, it's pushing the device. They're working at the same time. There are also two metal frames, and those two frames do something like this. They're like two comps, which are united and uh, fused like this as you push that button. And aside from those two motors and the two frames, we also have a sort of uh, tank track. If you've seen a tank, you know that it has a special track, it runs on, it's a caterpillar track here, and this is a an axis. This is the axis where the OLED panel spins around it slowly using the tracks. It goes something like this, slowly, slowly, slowly. So look up a train track, excuse me, a tank track, and you'll see exactly what we're getting here. This is a rollable phone. It's definitely the future. It goes beyond the typical uh, foldable phones on account of not having a crease and being more intuitive to use and frankly speaking a bit more sci-fi looking so this is a 6.7 inch diagonal and once you do a swipe on the side button it goes to a tablet 7.4 inch diagonal now the specs are not important what's important is that i want to show you how it uh, closes up also seen from the back side for now we have a triple camera here proof of concept which will be expanded with improved sensors in the future. I like the way this triangular area connects with this one here. It's definitely premium and frankly speaking, um, it's not as uh, well, it's not as heavy as I expected it to be considering it's just an initial phase, an initial concept. And the interface will definitely adapt to your needs. So for example, uh, if you're in the camera and you swipe to the side, everything changes in real time and adapts to your needs and this also happens with YouTube for example if you're watching a video and you can also watch it like this by the way a lot of screen estate here the grip is fine and once it extends it also unveils two more speaker holes here taken from beyond these ones and when you close it up you can do swipe to the bottom like this and with a cute ghostly effect it goes back to the smaller diagonal is definitely a premium build which we're dealing with here it's got uh, metal it's got glass it's an oled glass not very sure about its protection probably plastic protection nifty curved to the side as you can see here and it seems like a rollable phone to define the future the key is the button here which is the power button and also the uh, button which activates the screen it includes the fingerprint scanner and triggers the beautiful motion of the panel this is just a concept so we're just getting used to it no price yet and there are rumors about a full commercial version coming this summer this is it from jensen.com hope you enjoyed this video we'll be back with more soon bye bye